Hi everybody, Ted Jordan here with Handling Your Business as a Professional Actor. Yeah, we changed the name, been making that notification for a while now, so go ahead and get used to that. The email address is still, is still the same, at Professional Acting for the Long Haul at Yahoo.com, but we changed the name of the show to Handling Your Business as a Professional Actor. This week, we're going to be talking about what not to send to the casting directors. Here's what happened to us recently. We are casting for season three of our web series comedy called The Sinister Truth. We put everything in the notice that an actor could possibly want to know, so there are no questions whether you want to submit or not. If you do, then follow the directions accordingly. And that's for anyone's um, notice for acting. Read it carefully, take your time, do it right the first time, because if you don't do it right, they assume that you don't know how to follow instructions. And that is not the first impression you wanna to give to people. All right, that being said, we had a young man who's ambitious. He's in high school, he's 18. However, our notices are saying that you have to be 20 and up in order to apply or submit your headshot and resume. And for those who don't know what a good headshot is, here it is. Headshot. Resume. Headshot. Resume. Don't send selfies. This is what he did. He decided, and it was kind of creative and sad all at the same time, he decides to go into the men's bathroom, at least I think it was the men's bathroom, and he decides to pull a mirror in, a full-length mirror, and he shoots himself the reflection of him in the mirror and sends that as a picture of himself, full-length, with, you know, the camera in the shot along with everything, everything else in the shot, including the bathroom stall. How could I tell? Because I could see part of the bathroom door stall in the shot. You don't want to send stuff like this, okay? What you want to do is have professional headshots or find an amateur photographer who's very good and who's on their way up and who knows how to take a good headshot. You know, you can always check them out. They always barter or some barter for service, meaning that if you do a photo shoot with them, they're willing to use, you know, those shots as a portfolio for their portfolio and they'll give you the prints of the shots for free. Nothing wrong with that, but don't send selfies. Now I know with today's technology with the cameras and such, you can get some pretty good shots, but make sure they don't look like selfies at the very least. And again, read thoroughly the notices that you get. And for crying out loud, don't send selfies. Do I need to say it again? Don't send selfies. They look bad. They look unprofessional and it makes you look like an amateur. You want to put your best foot forward. Again, headshot. Then you glue or staple your resume to the back of it, just like that. It's really that simple. It's an important marketing tool for you. Again, this is the first thing that casting directors see when you submit for work, okay? Independents, some don't really care so much about that. Uh, they say it's in any kind of picture that looks like you and that's fine. But we're talking about people who are going to a more professional, a-list status actor. That's what you're shooting for. Because if you shoot for that, you can go into any market and now they take you seriously. At least from the get-go, from your headshot. Again, headshot, not selfie. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, by all means, send it to Professional Acting for the Long Haul at yahoo.com and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. And if I don't have the answer, I will find it for you so you will know. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.